Welcome back to GameCocksOnline.com. I am joined by junior Courtney Kaler after a sweep of Clemson and a sweep of the weekend for the Gamecocks. Courtney, from a setter's perspective, what was working so well offensively tonight? You had four different hitters that were in double digits with kills. What kind of led to that diversity? Honestly, the pass was there for me to set any one of my hitters. You know, just out reading the defense and trying to put my hitters in the best situation possible. Really, the middle's drawing the block to help her pins um, <clears throat> with one-on-ones. That was really the key. And it seemed like you made a concerted effort to kind of throw a few balls down on those tight mm -hmm. passes early on, just to get them thinking about it. Michaela Robinson with a mm -hmm. couple of big kills in that first set, in the first 10 points or so to kind of keep them honest. So uh, did that kind of help you as a setter make the decision that I'm going to maybe mix it up a little bit more than usual tonight? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what we've kind of been working on in practice is Weber and I being more aggressive at the net. So to make us more of a hitting option too, not to where we just have two hitters, that's two hitters and a setter attack that they have to um, think about also. So yeah, so if I saw the middle go up with me, then I would set Robbie and then hopefully it would be a kill. So yeah. And from your personal point of view, how how far into that first set did it take you before you felt your nerves kind of calming down a little bit? You had a record crown tonight, a very loud band, very loud student section. So just from your point of view, how long did it take for you to kind of get into the flow of the match? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, coming into the game, obviously, I always get pre-game jitters, but um, you know, once like everything kind of sets in and you get out here and obviously having a home court advantage is so nice because you know everyone's cheering for you. Um, but it was just awesome, just kind of getting in the rhythm of things. And once we got into our rhythm, everybody just kind of set in and that's where we locked in and go. It looks like the ball control, like you said earlier, has been a huge factor in helping the offense. But from your point of view, not being necessarily a passer, but just receiving those passes, what are you seeing from that back line that is giving you such clean sets? Um, I think it starts with our block setups. We've really been working hard on that in practice. So starting with our block setup and then our defenders being in the right place to see the hitter clearly, that's been awesome. And the passes have been there for me to run the offense. We'll wrap up by kind of closing out the weekend. What is the biggest lesson that you are personally taking out of this as we head on the road next week for another mm -hmm. tournament? Right, you know, it's just one game at a time. So yes, we can live in the moment right now, celebrate this win, but we have to move on to next week and focus on the next game because the next game is the most important game of the season, which Coach Tom says.